Bussy's making sure the tent he has been forced to borrow from a friend is secure after his own was flattened by post-tropical storm Lee. My tent here got thrown down. I lost all my air mattress. I lost some of my clothes, all my blankets. Them all got wet and my tent was thrown down and I didn't have nowhere to go. He didn't have anywhere to go because the shelter he was able to stay in during the storm on Friday and Saturday closed after the severe weather moved away from the region. And it was tough for him to leave. That was sad. And I didn't, I was very, didn't know where I was going to go. I didn't know if I had a tent to go back to. I didn't know if I had anything left. He is one of about 90 people who stayed in the shelters that were funded by the Nova Scotia government. They were staffed by local agencies with expertise to support people. But today, they're back outside. But it's hard, right? You, they, they can go in there, get warm, get well fed, uh, spend some time with some great volunteers, and they're back out here. Lucas Goltz is helping them. He's coordinator of downtown Halifax's outreach program. We got some mattress pads uh, so people can lay on so they're not laying on the ground. Uh, he has given out about 30 new tents so people have replacement ones after the storm and other outreach workers have been providing them too. He's finding morale is low at the encampments today. But it's again just the, the feeling of hopelessness and despair with a lot of people. Bussy says he does contract roofing work and has a car, but simply cannot afford the rents in Halifax. So he's been living outside for three months now. We don't want to be here. So many of us don't want to be here. We want our own apartments. Dartmouth councillor Sam Austin says the province should be funding these shelters all the time, not just during weather emergencies. He says it is an emergency when people do not have a place to live. The province says there's no question that having additional shelter space is critical to help people during extreme and cold weather. It says it's currently finalizing plans for the winter and we'll share those when they're ready. Gareth Hampshire, CBC News, Halifax.